Hi, folks. My name is Tony Moon, and I'm really excited about a class I'm going to be teaching in April, actually, specifically April 18th and 25th on Thursdays. And it's all about Chuck Berry, why he mattered. And if you don't know who Chuck Berry is, obviously you need to come to class to find out, but I know that most of you do. Uh, but the thing that's interesting about doing a class on Chuck Berry is the fact that he was so different from his contemporaries. You know, one was called the father of rock and roll, the architect of rock and roll, the what, what, what of rock and roll. And I could consider five people in that elite business. And that would be Fats, not necessarily in this order, Elvis, Fats Domino, Little Richard, Bill Haley in the Comets, and of course, Chuck Berry, Jerry Lee Lewis would be in there. But Chuck Berry wasn't from the South. He didn't grow up poor. So it was a different, and he was older than all those people, believe it or not. He didn't have his first hit record until he was old, like 30 years old. And so it's interesting because it's going to have extra things. A lot of historical facts are going to come about. Some of them are a little disturbing. It was the middle of the end of Jim Crow, how these entertainers were treated because of that, how they got into rock and roll in the beginning, why did the segregated music get integrated all of a sudden? Who were the movers and shakers besides these musicians? Come join us. We're going to have a great time. Appreciate it and see you then.